Good to tell you the Pashas Balak, 146, second column, um, probably 20 lines from the end of the page. Yeah, 21 lines from the end of the page. Okay, the Altareb is explaining there's a tshuva of Sumera, there's a tshuva of Asetev to bring down a locus in the world. And he explains the greater the person, the greater the blemish when they sin. So he says, Tshuva has to be even a greater level than the Tshuva of Sumira. So he says, He asks, he's going to ask the question now that we learned last Shabbos morning in Egeris Tshuva. He says, It contradicts what Chazal say. That it says, If a person transgresses a positive mitzvah and does tshuva, He immediately gets forgiven as soon as he does tshuva. On the other hand, on negative commandment, You need tshuva and Yom Kippur. The lechera comes out. Shal mitzvah says, Kamela al So he says, the Chayra, the Altar is saying over here, the Tshuva of Asetev has to be greater than the Tshuva in Surmera. So he says, I, the Gemara says, that by a positive mitzvah, as soon as you do Tshuva, you're forgiven, and by a Laisasa, you need Yom Kippur also. He says, Kvan is bar, Zabi Gerasa Tshuva. So he said, the Altar says, I already explained this, and he Gerasa Tshuva, the Masha calls it as all this that the Chazal say. You don't move from there until, until you get forgiven. By a positive mitzvah, as soon as you do tshuva, you're immediately forgiven. So now, let me explain what he said, what we learned in the Gaza of tshuva. What it means is you're forgiven because it's only a passive sin. You didn't keep a positive mitzvah. I mean, you didn't put it on the phone, you didn't dab or whatever. So that's passively sinning. So the sin is not as bad because you didn't actively go against Hashem, you passively went against Hashem. So therefore the tshuva is easier. But the kedusha that you could have brought down by doing the mitzvah, like we learned. Monday morning I didn't do tefillin. Okay, so for now on Tuesday I'm gonna do tefillin every day, tshuva. But Monday's tefillin you're never gonna get back, That's, you blew it. This all quote from Yigesh Tshuva. So he says, But in order to do Tshuva, to make up the order that you didn't get, and this level of Tshuva, by the way, we learned that the Rebbe doesn't talk about in Tanya. The Alt Rebbe Tanya says, yeah, tshuva for a positive mitzvah is easier because, again, it's passive rebellion. But you still miss the art. Okay, that's what the Alt Rebbe speaks in Tanya. Here the Alt Rebbe is explaining, but to make the, the undone done, to make the undone done, that you need a very, very lofty level of tshuva. That Tanya, the Alt Rebbe doesn't even talk about. And he says, what does this mean? It has to be This is what we ask in the evening. Right? The request for tshuva for lack of positive mitzvah. Which is save of kolal minamakif. Which is lamayla denolokeinu which is a level of mamalakol almin. In other words, what you need to do is, you need to reach a level that's above time and place. In the realm of time and place, yesterday is gone. So therefore, I can never make up what I didn't do yesterday. But that's only in the realm of time and place. Once you reach a level of tshuva that reaches higher than time and place, then yesterday didn't happen, and tomorrow will not be, you know, it's all one thing. Hainu ki mitzvah saseh, mitzvah slay saseh, tuloyim b'shem Hashem. 
<coughs> because that's connected to the mitzvahs of Hashem. Al came no shenim shleidei mitzvahs disconnecting Hashem avayim. What happens though if you tap into a level higher than Yud Kevavke? So then you can even make the undone done. What? Is that, that he doesn't talk about it in like, Tanya because it's it's higher than Benoni? Yep. It's not a normal level of tshuva. In fact, they could learn that we're learning Tanya. Chassidus yeah. uh, asks on the Srebalazov and the Daya guy this, that he went to every prostitute and everything. <clears throat> and then he put his head between his knees and he cried with tshuva, this Mishama popped out of the bottom. So a voice came out and said, He's Mizuman Loyla Mabba. He's ready for the Mabba. So Chassidus asks, <clears throat> okay. He wiped away all the negativity. But all the positive mitzvahs he didn't do, how did he get them? To go to Olam Abba, you need positive mitzvahs. He didn't do positive mitzvahs. So how did he go to Olam Abba? So Siddhis explains, he tapped into a level of tshuva that the undone became done. But that's a law that he actually died from it, so to speak. It's not a level, okay, I'm sorry, goodbye, and I'll do it again tomorrow. You know? He uh, died with tshuva. <coughs> what? <coughs> right. Yeah, she should come Shabbos morning to the Tanya class. So the al Rebbe says that's only as far as because the art is greater, therefore we learn out from Sukkim that positive push is way negative. But the tshuva of negative is harder. But the tshuva that you do for positive, granted it's easier, but you still don't get a full tshuva because you're still missing what you should have gotten. And last year, the Alter Rebbe explains in the Teda, unlike Tanya, there's a level of tshuva that makes the undone done. Well, there, the is in his bar, begins at tshuva sham perches. Me'ach ha-shirot, this is what Alter Rebbe says in perches. After the the ruach of titarim, after the spirit passed over and you pure, became purified, as I took on nafshilosh of adavaya baruch mamish, then you're able to reach a level of tshuva. For lali smile maila limkaira to the source, the dove can be be yichud nifla, can be shayisim yichedes be be tachas a yichud. Then this level of tshuva, the Alter Rebbe says in the Gemara tshuva reaches a level of relationship with Hashem higher than the level of Hashem blowing in the Nisham into us. In other words, there's a level of Atan of Achtabi. <clears throat> Hashem blows the Nisham into us. So then we become separated, becomes a Nishama. Okay? So, and, and if there's an Aved, it blocks it, like you said before, right? It blocks the blowing from going. But here you tap into a level that you reach a level of relationship with Hashem before he even blew. That means when the wind was still within him. That means that nothing happened yet. Not positive, not negative. You reach a level that's above any relationship, any connection of sin. That's Yom Kippur. Or this higher level of tshuva. But that level, because of its greatness, can make the undone done. But Neila doesn't do that though, right? Neila reveals that level in the Jew, yeah. You can make the undone done during the Neila? According to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you, have to, you have to be on the level of Neila. Not, um, it's almost another hour left, 40 minutes left, 20 minutes left. It, that's what we're talking <laughs> you can say Nila today, I can do anything. Talking about the level of Nila, Yechidah Shem and At that level, there is no done, there is no undone, there is no... That, but that level is reached through tshuva. But not a, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, you know. The Blazer Ben Dudai in tshuva, in other words. But So from that example, you have to die, I mean, that's what happens when you, you know, it's that. But we don't know that at other time there are some things that that's the only way you can do it, right? Chil Hashem, the only kapara is tshuva. I mean death. 
The fourth level that Tal Tarebi does the same time. And he says like this. So he says like this. All mitzvahs are connected to Yud Kivavke. Mitzvahs Hashem. This reaches a level, and therefore if it's undone, it's undone. But this level reaches a relationship that there's no done and no undone. Well, that of machine is bad. Um, okay. Uh, the way it was included in the name of Yudke Vavke Mamish. Um, what is this parenthesis? And. Okay, let's go to the Kitzer. Before you do that, it's the same place as Purim? Where you don't know good from bad? It's the same one? Because there is no difference between good and bad. There's a Pasik. Halei Och Ace of Yaakov. Is Ace of not a brother of Yaakov? And then the Pasik continues. It's Yaakov, a hafti vas Ace of Sanasi. I hated Ace of and I loved Yaakov. So the Pasik says two things. The first half of the Pasik says they're equal. They're brothers. Brothers mean equal. But Ace of and Yaakov are brothers. In the same Pasik it says, and Ace of I hated and Yaakov I loved. That's already identity crisis. That's when you're identified. So there's a level in Kedusha, level in godliness, that Yaakov and Esav, good and bad, are equal. I mean, the simple Moshe we learned a million times. The relationship between a child and a parent is above and beyond behavior. Okay? All other relationships, whether it's spouses, friends, whatever it is, is dependent on behavior. Behavior can affect it positively or negatively. A child is a child regardless. We're not talking about the open relationship they have with the parent. You know, they can be estranged from them. But we're talking about the child and parent relationship is totally non based on, on relationship. Totally not relevant. It's a much deeper level. That's the level that this tshuva, that the undone becomes done, that's that level of tshuva, of relationship with Hashem, that it's totally irrelevant behavior. By learning about it, do you tap into it? No, by doing it, you have to tap into it. <laughs> you learn about it, but you gotta do it. Uh, child and parent is more than uh, siblings. Sure. Siblings are not the same relation. They, yeah, they start from the same place, but this is the same place. <laughs> but uh, practically, I can't want to get to that level of children. I mean, not by Not by eating chocolate cake, seven layer cake, or a rib steak. <laughs> none, by none of the above. <laughs> I'll tell you how not, I can tell you, I can't tell you how to get there, I can tell you how not to get there. <laughs> huh? I'm saying you're not going to get chuba through eating chocolate cake or seven layer cake or a steak or ice cream or whatever. Okay, kids it. Mavdilin, he gets the chuba, it's chokma. Yaakov Chavon Venaket Shuvah Beis of Asei Teiv Ki Teiv Mechaber Good Connect Save Mamala Eved Alakim Eitzah Soda Okay, and the level of Chuva is to become one with Hashem. So he said the first Chuva is Sermeda, second Chuva is Asei Teiv. But he's saying Asei Teiv Chuva means to make the undone done, and that's a much greater Chuva than negative. But now he says, what's the third level of tshuva? There's even greater level of tshuva. Tshuva shlishisi afa pishus sumerabetachos. Even though a person doesn't do evil at all, v'gamasei tev betachos, and he but and he does everything pa, pra, perfect. In other words, in simple English, he said tzadik gamu. As I tshuva gedele yisid, like it says, tshuva elai. 
what the Pasuk says, return to me. Vashuv Aleichem, I return to you, what it says, Koyam of B'tshuva. What does it mean when the Gemara says a person should do tshuva all the days of your life? He says, Ein Ratzulei What the Gemara says, a person should do tshuva all their life. It doesn't mean sin, because that means you're basically sinning all your life. Dim came out Koyam of. Ela tshuva is richuk. Tshuva is on the distance. Ki avshua is a teva mekai mitzvah, even though he's a perfect Jew. He doesn't do any averis. He does only good. Dim kozel. He could still be a, an egotistic person. You can have a yesh. Like Dr. Rebbe says in Tanya. Well, we're learning now Wednesday night. That even the Tzadik Gomor, is still yesh misha He is somebody that loves. When you have a feeling of love, that means I am loving. There's an I that's loving. When, when the, the Misnagdim had a problem with, it's not Dalt Rebbe, because it says in Zoya, but they had a problem with this concept of Mashiach getting tzaddikim to do tshuva. So they learned tshuva, like everybody else does. You sin, you have to do tshuva. So if you, the Mashiach is going to get tzaddikim to do tshuva, you're basically saying they're no good, they sin, and they have to do tshuva. So they're explaining that's uh, degrading themselves. <laughs> okay, they're degrading. And now that I've answered them, that's not what tshuva means. Tshuva means to return. That means you could be a perfect Jew. The fact that you're a nisham in a body, the fact that you're a nisham in a body, you are an existence, an entity, so you are far from Hashem. And this level of tshuva has nothing to do with sins. It's returning to a complete level of oneness with Hashem, which is complete bittal. It's even a, a much greater level of tshuva. It sounds like you can't do it while you're alive. You could. Not us. Though. I know about you, not me. <laughs> I have a problem with the lowest level of tshuva. <laughs> And he says, So what's the level of tshuva on that level? Like it says, He wants to go back to his source. And he wants to go back to his source. And he wants to go back to his source. And he wants to go back By the way, the Al-Trebbe says this in Tanya, in Perek Yudches. The Al-Trebbe speaks about, why is a neshama called a candle? Why is the Neshama called Ner Hashem Nishma Sodom? So the Rebbe explains, just like a candle, the flame wants to flicker out and go back to the source, even though here the flame is something. <clears throat> it's going to go back to the source, it's going to be literally nothing, but this is what it wants. So what does the Rebbe speak about the Neshama? The Neshama in essence, and this is this level of tshuva, the Neshama wants to have a relationship with Hashem, like the ray of the sun in the sun, that all there only exists. Not that the ray is not there. The ray is there in the sun, right? The ray is in the sun. <clears throat> what is the ray, what is though the ray of the sun in the sun? All you feel is the sun. What did al say? I don't want you Ganeidna, I don't want your Olam I want only you. That's this level that he's talking about. He wants to be one with Hashem completely in a way that he doesn't even feel himself as a tzaddik gomor ev Hashem ba'ava betanugim, the highest level of possible ava that a tzaddik can possibly attain. But he's still on the Hashem in a body as a separate entity. So even Olam Abba is not there. That's what he said. Well, Olam Abba is a joke according to Chesidus. Tchis is the ultimate level of revelation. Huh? It's a ray. It's a ray. Ray. Yeah, Ganade the ray. It's a conundrum. A what? You, you need the body to do it, but you cannot do it in a body. We were learning Wednesday night. We didn't get to answer the question. Now, the Rebbe asked the question, what's the purpose of the Neshama of a coming into the world? Paraklam and hey. 
What's the purpose of the Nisham of Abainani? You're fighting, 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 and you're never going to win. Okay? So the Alter Rebbe started explaining, we didn't get too far, but the Alter Rebbe started explaining that at Tzad, what he's saying over here, even at Tzad Gomer, the highest level of Ava, is still Yashmi Shayev. So therefore, in order for Nishama to become Mamish, one with the essence of Hashem, like he's saying here, that is only through mitzvahs. That can only be done in a physical body. So even though the Bainani will never win to get rid of the Nefesh because he's only a Bainani, he's not the, doesn't have the ability of a tzaddik, nevertheless, that is the ultimate level of connection with Hashem that the Nisham in a body cannot, on its own, cannot be. No, because when you do it with Bittal, then there's no you, there's only the Mitzvah. Yira is less yesh than Ava. Yira, by definition, is bittel. Oh. And therefore, action of mitzvahs, which is Kabbalah soil, action, that's only the connection. Bittel. Right, because then there's no you. I'm not doing what I want, I'm doing what Hashem wants. So there is no me, there's only Hashem. That's a much higher level better than I love Hashem. What? The what? The That's the love of the Snafish. Azei Unit Andrush, the Friedrich Rebbe said. This is the way it's going to be, and no different. That's this level of tshuva. This tshuva has nothing to do with sins, nothing to do with anything. It's a level of a neshama wanting to be one with Hashem, connecting to the essence of Hashem. That's it. Not Ganeid and not Olam Abba. Hashem himself. And by the way, this level is dafke by tzaddik. But the human being Who's he talking to? Animals? I mean, who's he talking? <laughs> talking to us. We could do it. We don't want to. We could. Obviously, he's saying there's a level of sure you need to do it. You could. Now, can we, realistically speaking, can we attain this on a continuous daily level? Be realistically, no. Is it ever possible that sometimes person will have this tenua, this attitude. It's possible for every single Jew. Sometimes it could be on Yom Kippur at Nila. Sometimes it could be a, something, an incident that happened. One second. One second. But that's all tshuva takes. Yeah, but it doesn't last. Okay. <laughs> but I'm saying by, 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 by tzaddikim, Obviously, by a rebel in Moshul, this tshuva exists. Always. 24-7. 24-7. Halavai by us, it happens once a year. You know what I mean? But even, uh, even the tzari is, is not there, there, 24. You know, he still has to... They're there. I mean, I can't tell you because you got to be one to know one, but... Yeah. They still have to strive to be. We out. have no, you know, see, this, you need a cup of mashkur for brain. You know, we think, okay, the Rebbe is a thousand times smarter than us, a million times smarter than us, or a hundred times holier, or a million times holier. That's messed up. It's a different category completely. It's gvul and bli You know what I mean? It, it's, there is no connection whatsoever between a person and a level of a rabbi. This tshuva that he's talking about exists by a rabbi on a continuous basis. No, tell me. 
We have any connection to that? Well, 